Hi everyone, Stephanie with Mama Bear Inc. Welcome back to another Interactive Monday card making video here on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making a card with a brand new Flip It's die set that I just received. I ordered this on Blitzy and used a 40% off coupon from Hobby Lobby, so I got it for a really good deal. This is the Triple Squares Flip It's, um, and I haven't even used it yet. Still, still just fresh out of the package. So we'll be using that today, as well as the Garden in Bloom stamp set. This is a new one from uh, Stampin' Up! from their new annual catalog. Uh, and I haven't used this one yet either. And because I'm completely hooked on these things recently, the papers that we're going to be using today come from a card kit pack from Old Paper Cat. And you can find Old Paper Cat on eBay. She puts together these wonderfully coordinated sets of cardstock, which is usually from Stampin' Up, um, patterned papers, ribbons. Uh, this one includes little red gemstones and some hand dyed doilies. Now I don't know if the paper, the patterned paper is from Stampin' Up. I, I don't think so. Um, but it does coordinate with the colors just about perfectly. Today is Old Olive and Real Red and Crushed Curry. And so the inks we're going to be using are Old Olive, Real Red and Crushed Curry. And so those will match our cardstock and all of our patterned papers. Just perfect. So these are all of the things we're going to be using. And the first thing we're going to do is start out with our stamping today. I'm going to be using uh, the little butterfly from the Garden in Bloom stamp set. Um, and a couple of the little uh, floral images as well. I'm going to stamp the butterfly in the Crushed Curry ink. Um, and I'm going to put the uh, stampin something mat underneath there just because it's a solid image and when I was practicing it wasn't coming out very well without that added cushion so you can use any mat that you personally have or even a piece of fun foam will work and now I'm going to be using the outline image for the butterfly with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink um, just because when you use a pigment ink over a dye ink, it doesn't like spread out into the ink underneath it. So now I'm going to be using one of those little teeny floral stamps and I'm using real red and I'm stamping off for the first part and then using it full strength for the second and onyx black again for the outline. And there are some little leaves that come with this, stamping off the old olive for the base and then using old olive full strength for the outline. So the die that cuts these little squares is pretty teeny. Um, so we're only going to be getting portions of our stamped images. Uh, and I cut those out with that teeny little die that comes in the flip it set. And so I've got my little squares for the front of the card and they kind of look a little modern, I guess. And then I'm gonna cut some patterned paper squares from the ins for the inside squares as well. So I chose the old olive to cut my card base from and we're just gonna pop that out of the main card base die. And then I chose some patterned paper in the crushed curry. And I cut those out with the matting piece dies that come with every Flip It set from Stephanie Bernard. And that one's a little tricky because it's got those teeny little pieces that kind of go in between the squares. So you're going to want to be careful pulling that out of the die. And then you can use tape runner on these, but I am going to use the two-way glue pen just because I have those narrow little strips there um, in between the squares. And I want to make sure that those are glued down real well. Um, I just don't want to mess with them maybe coming up and getting torn or something like that. So I'm putting that down with the two-way glue pen and just making sure that those little rectangles are adhered very well. And then on the big rectangle for the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and use the regular old tape runner because that's a big space and much easier to cover uh, with the tape runner than a glue pen, obviously. <laughs> so now we're going to fold that one side toward us and the little side out. I'm just going to take my bone folder and kind of burnish those folds down because otherwise the flip it tends to want to flip, which, you know, that's what it's made to do. 
And so now we're going to take our little stamped squares and adhere those to the front of the card. I want to kind of put them in a random pattern there just to give it a little bit more interest. And I am going to adhere these again uh, with the two-way glue pen. It might have been cute, um, and making this again in the future, I'm probably going to use a little bit of fun foam, or maybe even just a single dimensional on the back of those, um, just to kind of pop them up. I don't think they're big enough that they would uh, cause any problem with the mechanism of the flip it card at all. So I think next time I'm going to use some dimension behind those those little squares on the front. And just hold those down for a couple of seconds to make sure they're good and adhered across the front. And then on the inside, again, I did cut some of the floral patterned paper um, just to, again, put a design in there and give it a little bit more interest. And I'm adhering those, again, with the uh, two-way glue pen. And these I would recommend that you keep flat to the paper just because it could add some... Um, weird bulk into the center underneath the front. I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself well. Um, I think though that to add dimension to the inside would would make your card funky when you're trying to fold it flat and get it mailed. And then for the sentiment on this card, uh, we're going to be using a couple of stamps out of that same Garden in Bloom stamp set. And I'm going to be stamping it in onyx black ink. Um, and it says something to the effect of, I hope you feel special today because that's exactly what you are. And so, yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. There we go. So I'm just going to get that inked up in the onyx black and just get it, make sure that it's kind of in there but over to the right so that you can sort of see it when it's open. And <laughs> it flipped up and I got some ink on the card. Oh, well. Line that up so it's nice and straight and stamp it down. Um, you might want to stamp your sentiment if you're going to be doing that before you would hear that patterned paper piece down. But that, uh, it kind of finishes the design for the card, but I decided it needed a little bling. So I'm going to add some of the teeny tiny basic rhinestones from Stampin' Up! to the center of those little flowers. And then one to the butterfly, but I didn't like it right there, so we're going to move it up to the top right there. And that's pretty much going to finish our Flip It card for today. Thank you guys very much for coming and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon. Take care.